Hello guys, so finally I'm going to do my favorite problem when we have parametric equation and parametric graphs and we need to match them. So let's start with equation f. With that equation you can observe that we have a fraction, so let's just assume for a second that we don't have the bottom part. And let's try to visualize what is our graph is going to be approximately. So for that case I'm going to have that x is equal to sine 2t and y is equal to cosine 2t, so x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. So our graph approximately is going to be a circle. So let's come back to the original graph and try to analyze what we're going to have in that case. And then you can see since 1 over 4 plus t squared is a common factor, then you're going to have that x squared plus y squared is going to be equal to 1 over 4 plus t squared squared. Or in other words, we have the original circle, but when t is going to get big bigger, bigger and bigger, then the right hand side is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. So in other words, the radius of our circle is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. So when t increases, our particle is going to approach the origin. So in other words, among our six graphs, we can see that uh, the graph should look something like a circle, but it should be like really dense near the origin. And the only graph which satisfies that condition is going to be graph 3. So that's why for equation f, we have the corresponding graph 3. Then next step, let's try to find something similar. Then take a look at graph uh, at the equation E. In that case, we have x is equal to t plus sine 4t and y is equal to t squared plus cosine 3t. So again, like what we don't like about that parametric equation, of course, we don't like trig functions. So that's why let's try to get rid of trig fun functions for a second. Then we're going to have x is equal to t and y is equal to t squared. Or in other words, that y is equal to x squared. But y is equal to x squared is going to be a parabola. So our graph is approximately going to look like a parabola. But what is about like sine t, uh, sine 4t and cosine 3t? It means when t is going to get bigger, bigger and bigger, since sine and cosine are going to be between negative 1 and 1, it means our parabola is going to be like a wave. So at some point my function, uh, my trick function is going to add values to my parabola and at some point it's going to subtract the values from my parabola. So that's why we're going to have the graphs that look like graph number 4. So for equation E, we have graph number for. So let's let's consider like equations C and D. Since x and y for those equations written in terms of sine and cosine, then we can and since like uh, sine and cosine between negative one and one, then the corresponding graphs that we should consider for those equations are graphs uh, two and six. So like, but then we need to decide which one which uh, for which uh, equation. So for that, observe that uh, if we're going to choose point uh, one zero where x is equal to one, y is equal to zero, then that point belongs to the graph. Uh, 6 but doesn't belong to the graph 2. So right now we just need to figure out to for which equation uh, does it point satisfy. Uh, so for that, like if we're going to take equation D and we're going to set t is equal to 0, then we can see that since cosine of 0 is 1 and sine of 0 is then that point for sure is going to belong uh, to the equation D. So in other words, equation D is going to correspond to the graph 6 and equation C is going to correspond to the graph 2. Finally, we have graph 1 and 5 which are left and equation A and B, so let's match them. First, observe if you're going to take equation uh, graph 1 and 5, then uh, the origin uh, doesn't belong to the graph 5, but does belong to the graph 1. So right now we need to decide uh, which equation satisfies that if you're going to find some t for which x and y is going to be equal to 0. So let's take equation uh, a. For that equation you can see if you will set y is equal to 0, then it gives you the only solution t is equal to 0. But if you're going to plug in the t equal to 0 to your x component, then you will have that x is going to be equal to 1. But since the only solution when y can be equal to 0 is when t is equal to 0, but the t doesn't satisfy that x is equal to 0. So that means that the origin doesn't belong to the equation A. So in other words, we can see that equation A is going to correspond uh, to the graph 5. And finally, let's just check that the origin belongs to our second equation. But if we can see, if we're going to plug in like t is equal to 0 to our second equation, then we're going to obtain that y is equal to 0 and x is equal to 0. So in other words, the origin does belong to our second equation. And that's it, we are done. So we are now matched our parametric equations and our graphs. Thank <laughs> you.